Hi YEM, this is Ray from YEM. Hi YEM, I'm Sam from Kazakhstan and today I'm here to represent the college district and share my very special testimony. Back in 2020, God gave us a beautiful baby, his name is Hee-chan. And this year, God gave us another baby, her name is Seon. When Seon was born, her lips were a little bit different compared with others. So we tried to figure it out and she had a various test at the hospital. Then we found out another bigger problem. The problem is that there is a little hole in her heart, making it difficult for children grown up to healthy. The way to treat it is to heal herself or to have a surgery. If she had a surgery, she needed stopping her heart, so we couldn't do it. There's the only way we can do is to pray for God. For a year or so, I was suffering from a depression and this was my biggest difficulty back then. And after a long break because of COVID, I came back to Korea. And that was such a thing that was meant to be that I got really close with uh, one of my really good friends now. And uh, she was the person who started talking about God with me. And it didn't really make sense to me back then because I wasn't in God and I didn't accept Jesus. But um, as we kept talking, I got to know how great and good He is. However, this joy ended quickly. By the grace of God, Helen was healed, but we were still tired of carrying our children. And we did complain again and again. But God made me realize this much. What we should be grateful for is Jesus himself. What Jesus is in us is getting better than the baby's healing. We were able to pray because of the pain of our daughter. Otherwise, we're just living as daily life without Jesus. You may pray for healing, money, or success. But you have to remember one thing. What we are looking for is Jesus only him alone. One day I just had such an amazing dream which just made me realize that it is it, like he will help me, he's powerful and great to help me. In my dream it was so funny how I was running around the hallway and I had such a strong thought that it was a ball and I was looking for a room to sleep in after the event is done and basically uh, all of my friends from back home they were like hey come join us here's your spot and um, it might sound silly but I was like no 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 I have to uh, go and find the place I belong to and then I saw my name on the list and that made me wonder where is the room and when I got to the room entered it I realized that my friends my Christian friends are there I wouldn't say it's a coincidence because I was like a missing puzzle piece and when I joined with them we just all started laughing thinking oh my god God has brought us together today and this was uh, the moment when I realized that I know how good he is and that he will be able to help me. We prayed every day for Satan. After three months later, the doctor was checking her heart and he said that you don't need to come hospital anymore because her heart core is closed. Usually this is a very unique case. It takes at least a year or seven to eight years. And after that, I accepted Jesus, which was um, a big thing for me, obviously. And I'm so glad that since then, my life started to change in a better way. I pray a lot. I uh, would praise God with my friends. We worship Him. And everything just feels so good. And even my mental state, I feel how He's working on me, how He is healing my wounds. And this just made my life so much better. And I'm just happy that I accepted Jesus and I'm here with you guys today.